Greetings, my name is Joe. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Squire Classic Vibe 50s Telecaster. This one is in vintage blonde. Uh, it's got a pine body with Alnico 5 pickups, black pick guard, uh, standard ashtray, Telecaster bridge with brass saddles, old school where the two strings per saddle. Uh, modern C neck, vintage style tuners, kind of small frets. Um, it's a Telecaster. Looks pretty. Um, made in China for these. Some of the Squire guitars and basses are made in Indonesia, some are made in China. Um, I think the classic vibe is supposed to be a step up, maybe from some of the other ones. Um, has a nice weight to it. Plays and sounds really good. Um, it's a good Telecaster. It's not an American guitar. It's certainly not a real vintage instrument. Um, I do think the Mexican ones are better. They're probably worth the money. Um, but I don't know if they make a Mexican one like this. That's uh, They do have the new player ones, but they're not really, quote, vintage style. Um, so... Main thing I would say about Squire guitars and basses, it's the necks. They're not, and the fretwork is not going to be the quality of an American instrument or even a Mexican one. So you're going to have to fiddle with them. And it's also sort of like, uh, hopefully you get lucky and get one that the person who built it knew what they were doing at least. Um, I had a Squire bass before, jazz bass before, I just used for recording. Never could get it set up worth a damn, and it's because one of the frets, or a few of the frets, were not seated properly. And that would be expensive to get someone to fix, because I'm not a luthier. Um, but, um, so this is, but it's a nice sounding guitar. A few dead spots, a um, little buzzy in some places. You got again, you just have to tweak the neck and the, the saddles. Um, these saddles, this, my opinion, if you want the honky country guitar telly sound that people love, you need these saddles. I, just my opinion, some people may disagree or say these aren't a good design. Um, from an intonation standpoint, no, it's antiquated and all that stuff. But the trick is, I got from Jerry Donahue, the famous country guitar player, make the third string slightly sharp and the fourth string slightly, slightly flat. And that, I mean, you know, and that's what happens if you move this back and forth. But there's a uh, sweet spot there where it will sound in tune. Um, but I haven't adjusted these. I've adjusted the height a little bit in the neck, but I haven't adjusted the intonation. It seemed okay. Um, but overall, it's a great playing guitar. Um, you know, for the money, uh, it's a nice instrument. So what I did, I recorded a country kind of tune and then I re recorded a Tom Petty-ish Mike Campbell guitar kind of thing to kind of show you what they sound like. Um, mainly using the the bridge pickup. Um, I didn't really use the neck pickup for this video um, because honestly, why do people love tellies? I think it's this pickup. Nothing against the lipstick pickups. They're cool. They're good for some things. Um, and you know, you can do the out of phase thing. If you need, if you just have a telly somewhere and you need a stratty kind of thing, you can you can do that. Um, or use the front one, roll back the tone and get a decent jazz guitar kind of sound. But but anyway, for the purposes of this, I you know, I went for the gusto on the the bridge pickup. So the first one will be the country one, the second one will be the rock one. So uh, let me know what you think if you bought these um, and what your opinion is. The last thing is there's another model of this that's in butterscotch blonde and it's different. It has an older body and Alnico 3 pickups. So with these kind of guitars, could you tell the difference in those pickups? I don't know. I don't have that other one. <laughs> Maybe you could. Um, I think those are lower output and you know, maybe they do have a slightly different sound. I will say this. I used to have, when I was a kid, I had a Fender Telecaster built late 70s. 
and it fed back like crazy. It could not handle any, the pickups could not handle any kind of overdrive whatsoever. If I was gonna just be playing with Buck Owens like Don Rich, it would have been a fine guitar, but for any kind of gain at all, no. They were so microphonic and it was a Fender guitar. Um, this one, they can handle, as you'll hear in my second song, they can handle some grit. So they, you know, you can rock with this and do whatever, it's a pretty versatile instrument. So anyway, let me know what you think and um, check these videos out of me playing those songs and talk to you next time.